Good evening, all. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, very good evening. So, uh, how was the last session? What did we learn in the last session? The last session, what was it about? Types of business organization. Exactly, yes. And then? Corporate expansion, diversion, private labeling. Yes, yes. And I hope uh, we have seen, uh, you know, the uh, recruitment process, you know, which, which happens, you know, like in government sectors and in private sectors. So how it happens, how do they source the, uh, you know, like uh, the people, you know, from outside or, you know, like within the organization to fill up a vacant position. So we have just, you know, like uh, gone through, a, you know, like a brief uh, discussion about it. So let's see in detail. So this uh, session is going to be about, you know, like uh, the types of interview. So how actually the recruitment and selection process is conducted. So there are many types, not all the organizations go with one exact plan or one exact, exact uh, schedule, you know, to conduct the interview. So each an organization, you know, uh, every organization has their different means of, you know, conduct, conducting interview. Uh, like online, offline, or uh, interview through uh, some outside agency. And, uh, you know, like uh, sometimes, you know, the interview may be, you know, like one-on-one -on -one interview, or it may be um, a written format, a written test kind of a format. So it depends on the, you know, like uh, the decision of the HR department of the organization. So there are a few techniques in conducting the interview. And you are going to see about, you know, like common mistakes, you know, like... Uh, uh, which people make during the interview process, both from both the side, from uh, interviews, interviewees side, and as well as the interviewers side. Then we are going to see about you know, how the recruitment and selection happens. What is the difference between recruitment and selection? What are all the process methods and techniques involved in recruitment and selection? And uh, here we go. Okay. So these are the types of interviews. Uh, these interviews, sometimes few organizations may go with all the interview patterns. I mean, they start with you no know, like a structured kind of an interview, maybe the basic level of interview. And then you no know, like uh, once a candidate you no know, like passes the first level, the basic level or the structured level, they go with the second level which may mean you no know, like analyzing their uh, you no know, like uh, the behavioral uh, aspect and everything so how do they handle the situation and everything uh, that interview may be you no know, conducted by uh, a hr manager and and then you no know, like final interview may be you know like um, the top management may be you no know, directly assessing the employee there is a panel interview so like here we go uh, the structured interview it's you no know, like there is no difference you no know, like uh, the organization follows the same kind of questions and no same kind of no like uh, it goes with the same kind of order uh, whoever the candidate is that doesn't matter and whenever the interview is happening that doesn't matter i mean it means uh, the interview uh, the way the interview was conducted 2 years before or 3 years before they follow the same pattern so there is no some you no know, like um, not any you no know, like specific uh, or uh, some new aspect is you not know, added to it Whereas an unstructured interview, it would be you no know, like an, uh, the candidates is, is allowed to you know, give an open talk about uh, everything, you no know, like strengths and weakness, like uh, uh, why he chose or she chose this organization, why he want to you know, apply for this specific job. So what are all the you no know, like his uh, behavioral aspects? How it's going to help the organization to grow and everything? So completely unstructured. And then we have you no know, like stress interview. That is a role play. So the candidate may be you no know, like given uh, a situation like uh, how you no know, like uh, an event happens or uh, a conflict happens in the organization or in particular department. Say if at all you're the HR manager or you're the team leader. So how you will handle the problem? How you will handle the situation? 
so what decision will you make what would be the next uh, step no you will take no uh, in the organization so this is stress interview to analyze how the person will act in a stressful situation and then we have behavioral interview that is uh, checking uh, i mean asking the candidate about any a uh, challenging situation the candidate has faced previously in his previous work or in his uh, uh, i mean in 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 his personal life so how the person has handled that situation how the person person has you no know, like come out of the issue or come out of the situation what are all the means you no know, like uh, the candidate took you no know, like to manage that situation so those things you no know, like it would help the organization to analyze the behavioral pattern of the uh, candidate and then we have problem solving or case interview that is uh, just asking about the candidate about what was the most stressful situation you know, the candidate has you know, experienced in his previous organization so there is a difference between you no know, behavioral and problem solving so behavioral sometimes the candidate can even you no know, like taken even from his or her uh, personal uh, you no know, life so how you no know, they have handled the situation when there is there was a conflict between you no know, like uh, him and his family on you no know, like selecting the career or whatever it is so but in a uh, problem solving or case interview uh, the the question will be particularly asked about how the candidate has um, you no know, like uh, uh, handled a stressful situation in his or her previous work experience and then finally panel interview panel interview is mostly conducted by the top management people uh, panel interview is something you no know, like more than two persons you no know, like uh, conduct the interview you no know, like uh, with you no know, like uh, one candidate so all of them each one of them will be having their own specific questions to ask and they'll be and asking the candidates you no know, like one on one on one by one and the candidate has to answer accordingly so these are the types of interviews mostly you no know, organizations arrange uh, this is the you no know, like pattern they go with sometimes a uh, few organizations may follow only the structured interview that is example the government organizations they always have a structured one uh, publish the you no know, date of the exam announce a vacancy conduct the exam uh, see the cut off mark and you no know, like whoever is you no know, like eligible you no know, like uh, list out the candidates and you no know, take them for the uh process let's say take them for the uh position now uh, says so unstructured is you no know, something different so here uh, we can uh, ask you no know, like here the, uh, the candidate has the opportunity to you know, like to speak for himself to speak about himself and a stress behavior interview mostly happens when the candidate uh, the interview is happening for you no know, like a kind of marketing job or where the candidate is you no know, like supposed to handle you no know, uh, clients outside the organization uh, foreign clients you no know, like uh, in those cases stress or behavioral interviews you no know, like conducted problem solving uh, interview or panel interview is finally done to you no know, like justify whether the person is eligible uh, to take into the organization so this is how the interview you no know, like uh, A question pattern will be like if 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 they press a fresher you no know, like usually they start with nowadays uh, the organizations you no know, they start with uh, in self introduction that is tell me about yourself and then they would ask about uh, what are the strengths and weaknesses and they may ask why should we hire you that is why the organization has to hire the person so the person can come up with you no know, like since i'm committed person uh, you no know, like uh, i can no like completely commit myself in the job or uh, he can say i'm a self motivated person so i don't need need anyone to know like come and motivate me you no know, in my work area so since i'm self motivated like always you no know, like uh, i am now i'll be you no know, very enthusiastic uh, in you no know, like doing tasks and no other projects so in that way you no know, the candidate can convince the interviewer you no know, like to take him you no know, to the organization and the other question may be you no know, why do you want to work here uh, if a question is asked like this you no know, like uh, a fresher can answer you no know, i would like to take up a new challenge or i have heard about your company and i have heard that you no know, like you treat the employees very well or the pay structure is good whatever whatever if the you no know, like candidate you no know, like finds uh, appropriate you no know, to convince the interviewer 
he can or she can go with it. So what are your goals? Um, in this case, uh, 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 the uh, person has to answer, no, like the candidate has to answer uh, the goals related to his career, not his personal goals. I mean, I want to build a house or I want to buy a car in another two years. I want to go for a, no, like a world trip or I, I need to go for a, no, like foreign trip. So these things, it doesn't matter to the interviewer. So personal goals apart, so completely professional goals or you know, like um, what the candidate want to achieve in his career, what the candidate wishes to learn in you know, like next few years or few months, you know, like these type of answers you know, that your candidate can share with the interviewer. So, but the candidate has to make sure these answers you know, like regarding the goals, the professional goals, uh, or in relation with the uh, expectations of the uh, interviewer. And uh, finally, how do you see yourself in next two to five years? So candidate can openly say, I want to know, see myself, you no, know, like in a higher position and you no, know, like earning at least you no know, this much on a monthly basis on my annual income should be this much or I should be handling, I should be become a team leader or a manager. You no, know, I should be handling at least you no, know, like these many people. Um, I should be you no know, delegating tasks to them. I should be in command. So these kind of answers, you no, know, it may impress the interviewers. When it comes to experience, questions are you no know, like little different. So why did you leave the company where you were previously working for? When was uh, when were you most satisfied in your job? You no, know, like which you no know, like uh, part? You no, know, like you you were you no know, very satisfied in your previous work. And what can you do for us uh, that other candidates can't? What are the three positive or no, like any positive things, no, your last boss would say about you. So these things matter if it is an experienced candidate uh, because uh, mostly now there is a trend, no, like um, when you're no, like if you're an experienced person and you're no, like applying for a job in another uh, company, uh, most of the companies you know, nowadays they check with the X organization where you have worked with Pete previously. They check regarding your tenure, the tenure in the job, your uh, behavior in the you know, like workplace, and uh, what was the reason you specified to them you know, for leaving the job. They usually do that, like most of the companies. You know? So you should, it should be you know, your answers should be you know, very relevant. So these are the you no know, like types of you no know, interview questions usually a candidate faces in the interview. So this is a case study. Uh, before we go to the next slide, so we just we can you know, just go through this case study and check you no know, like um, why uh, this person Gautam was not selected in an interview. So this guy uh, attends an interview and uh, he responds very well to questions regarding you no know, like self introduction strengths, weaknesses, previous achievements, and the reason you know, why he left the previous organization. So introduction was, you no, know, it was her, his introduction, self-introduction was very good. It was a good flow of vocabulary. He was very fluent in the uh, language and everything. And uh, strengths, he mentioned his strengths as you no, know, like very committed person. He's a good team player, hard worker, self-disciplined and everything. And weaknesses, you no, know, like he believes people very easily, uh, shy person, sensitive person, and he has a fear of public speaking. His uh, previous achievements, you no, know, like he has taken part in various projects and various, you no, know, like tasks, and uh, you no, know, succeeded. And uh, other than that, he is a member of an NGO as well. And the reason to leave the previous organization was he was not comfortable with the ex team manager. Because the team manager, no, like he took no few wrong decisions. And uh, when Gautam pinpointed those decisions, uh, the team manager shouted at him, no, in front of uh, everyone, in front of the other staff. So, and the management didn't know, like, um, yeah. uh, took, the, took the issue, no, in the hands and check what has I'm gone sorry. wrong. And the given slightly, and the gentleman. Guys, you have Paul. And the gentleman. So the management didn't know, like uh, checked, uh, up, I mean, checked on this matter. So that is the reason, uh, like he has to you know, leave the previous organization. So the interviewer finally tells Gautam that, you no, know, like uh, he will be contacted either by telephone or by mail and uh, know if he is selected. So, but Gautam receives an email that, you no, know, like he has not been selected. So what could be the reason? 
Any idea? What could be the reason? Why he is not selected? Yes? Uh, the shyness, I think one of maybe the reason is the position that she handled. Uh, it needs her to be outgoing with uh, all, all people. And it is one of the reasons. Okay, okay. Okay, any other input? Oh, thank you. And uh, any other input? I think uh, some type of ego worked on stuff uh, that the uh, direct team manager take one decision and uh, he just not interested in that decision and he just think that he say there is some ego problem. Maybe oh, okay. Like okay, okay, good, good. And uh, yes, one more. Just one more, one more input. Anyone else? Uh, maybe the, uh, directing the our uh, discussion, uh, discussing the the issue, mm -hmm. uh, maybe this is one of the weaknesses she has, uh, mm -hmm. where she can or he can. Man, because he is a shy person. Shy person, okay. Yes. And introvert, he has no confidence. Introvert, okay. Thank you, Mahera. Yes, Mr. Ali. Yes, you were uh, saying something. Yeah. Yeah, just uh, the point is uh, the, the way uh, he could uh, discuss his matter to be open with his management from beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, not as, as mentioned here, not to be easy with all people or sensitive, even the sensitive, sensitive uh, behavior is maybe not good uh, uh, in practical uh, uh, environment. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you, thank you for your inputs. Um, Yes, uh, uh, shy may be the reason, but it's a common factor, no, for almost everyone. Uh, even the no, like uh, topmost, uh, no, like um, uh, people, no, like who are in no, like very good positions in topmost positions. When it comes to public speaking, no, they have no, like a little fear, a shyness, and uh, they are not comfortable in public speaking. Um, if at all, no, they are being being trained or no, like or. Uh, if they have that, no, like, uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, the the art, if they have, no, like, inculcated the art of, no, like, public speaking, you know, speaking in front of public, no, right from their childhood. So, so shine is, no, like, fine, it's accepted. Uh, I mean, what I could say is, no, like, uh, not 100%, but a little shyness or, no, like, a fear of public speaking, that is fine, it's accepted. Even sensitiveness, no, like, like many of us are no like sensitive no like to few issues that is also no like accepted uh, maybe no like after uh, the, the if at all Gautam gets selected no like after he has got selected in the organization a proper training can be given to him no like to come out of his no like shyness and uh, sensitiveness and everything so if uh, no like proper training is given no like uh, when the uh, the department the HR department no like uh, they can uh, mold uh, Gautam, no, like according to the flow of the organization. So the negative part the interviewer saw is no, like um, uh, his immediate the Gautam's immediate decision on his no, like ex team manager that he has taken many wrong decisions because uh, we cannot judge a person no just like that. So team manager maybe not may have no took few decisions uh, from the direct command from the top management because since management didn't look up on this issue it means management no like has support in these decisions so or no like team manager may be an influential person in the organization very influential for the top management maybe close with the top management whatever the reason is uh, easily a we shouldn't uh, no judge our uh, no like our uh, what do you say our superiors or our managers with their no like decision makings so instead of this uh, gautam would have no like uh, uh, put it in a way that um, 
uh, few things no like uh, on decision making didn't work out between his team manager and himself so instead of take uh, saying the team manager has to many wrong decisions he would have mentioned that few things didn't work out no between him and the team manager there were no friction frictions in between uh, them and uh, management was no like mostly uh, i mean uh, mostly supporting the team manager and uh, they didn't know like hear uh, gautam's voice so in this way no like he would have no like uh, very um, diplomatically no he would have no like uh, um, communicated the reason to the interviewer so this is the reason no like uh, Uh, gautam's no like immediate reaction to the manager's decision not knowing no whether it is right or wrong or uh, whether uh, it was a direct uh, no like command from the management or not or not so that is the reason no why gautam has not been selected so the mistakes usually no an interviewee conducts is no like uh, failing to prepare so no previous preparation for the interview no like taking things no very frivolous and no like um, so easily no like um, uh, taking taking it for granted so not preparing no like uh, enough no for the interview which is going to happen the next day or no like forthcoming interview so how the candidate has to prepare for an interview subject knowledge obviously is a must and other than no like communication skills no that that is also known an important factor so if you have subject knowledge but don't have no good communication skills uh, you may be in the waiting list and same with uh, if you have good communication skills but no like you are very low in subject matter again in the waiting list so these things should be balanced no like subject matter as well as the communication skills the intrapersonal skills so you should be having that and failing to research your interviewer before going for an interview the interviewee you know like uh, the person should make a you no know, like uh, spend some time and you no know, like make a research on the company to which the person is going for the interview so when the company was started uh, what is the you no know, like uh, product of the company what services they are giving where are their branches located uh, whether it's a private limited or no public limited what kind of company it is and uh, how many employees are there so now almost all the companies know like they have no their information in the uh, uh, they have their own website so just you no know, like log on to their you no know, like uh, get into their website you no know, you have you no know, like a to z information about the company so you have to research your you no know, like interviewer so what type of companies so if at all you no know, like if a question is asked the interviewer is asking so have you heard about our company or what do you like about our company so that's a very you know like tricky situation and uh, the interviewee should be you know ready to answer to that question so for this matter you no know, a proper research has to be you know conducted about the organization about the company to which the interviewee is going to attend the interview wearing the wrong outfit obviously you should always wear a formal outfit dark colored dresses or dark colored suits and no like your grooming everything matters sitting in a wrong posture yes uh, not being punctual this is very important using your mobile or cell phone no in between the interview so always no leave we have to know like put it in a silent mode or better switch off the mobile and asking questions with obvious answers because at the end the interviewer may ask you like do you have any questions so we should be ready with the questions the interviewee has to be ready with the questions and that those questions no like it shouldn't be like obviously the answer would be this it's not like that so the questions has to be something different related to the interviewee's uh, roles and no like responsibilities in the organization like the uh, interviewee may ask no like uh, if selected no like uh, when i am supposed to join what is the date i am supposed to join or uh, whether i'll be directly taken as an employee or do i do i have to undergo any you no know, like training or probation period will the company will be putting me in any probation period how long the probation period would be so what would be my role what would be my responsibility whom should i report to who would be my superior uh, so you no know, these kind of questions related to the 
interviewees roles designation and no responsibilities these kind of questions can be asked bad mouthing past employers yes the ex team manager i mean team uh, leader or team manager the team i mean boss ex boss so or the company where they have previously worked for so no negative no like comments or nothing no like uh, if at all no like uh, there is a no like a specific reason no like um, uh, something ha bad has no happened between no you and the company or you and between your boss you can no like very diplomatically we can you can say that a uh, few things were not working out uh, i was not feeling comfortable with the work environment so or my voice has not been heard so in this way no like uh, we can no come up with the situation and getting too personal this happens sometimes not uh, in all the interviews sometimes uh, maybe the interviewer maybe from the no like the same city where the interviewee is from or uh, no like maybe you know they may be speaking the uh, same mother tongue both may be having a same mother tongue so they will be you no know, oh, oh you are from this city so i am also from this city so that is my native or my parents have lived there my you no know, uncle is living there or okay you are also you know speaking this language so my native is this language so in this way the interview in the interview uh, deviates from the main line so here both the parties are getting too personal and missing out the interview part so this is also the reason why you no know, the interviewee fails and then interviewer's mistake make the candidates waiting for a long time that's a no like that is also a no like it's offensive so you have to well in advance inform the candidate about the uh, exact time when the interview have will be starting and you have to start the interview no at that time specified time interviewer is unprepared don't know like which questions to be asked what is the role actually no for which role we are selecting the candidate so what should be the qualification basic qualification needed for the role so completely unprepared for the interview and caught between candidate and the company the interviewer may feel candidate is very good good in everything but the company may be having some other requirements they may be checking for some other requirements which the uh, candidate may doesn't have so but interviewer wants to select the candidate but according to the company's expectations the candidate cannot be selected so completely the interviewer is you no know, like stuck in between you no know, both the parties you are over friendly again you no know, like it's you no know, like for you no know, like personal reasons you ask inappropriate questions you no know, like what food the, the interview interview we likes or you no know, like um, uh, getting deep into the person's family background so everything you no know, those are inappropriate questions you no know, which is not you no know, like needed for the organization using the mobile yes interviewer has to you know like uh, maintain uh, you no know, like um, few things so shouldn't use the mobile in between the interview and you don't explain the hiring process this is you no know, like uh, very bad in you no know, like few situations so the uh, hr department or the interviewer they don't give proper information to the candidates regarding how the interview process will go on so we we can say you no know, like the the person can say to the candidate that you no know, we have three processes the first process will be written test the second process will be this and hr interview the first third process will be a panel interview or directly you will be you know like a meeting our boss and you no know, like you have to explain the candidates about how the interview is going to happen so what would be the you no know, like when it is going to happen sometimes few uh, uh, in, i mean few uh, uh, organizations they conduct the uh, exams or you no know, like interview exams or they conduct the hr interview on the first day the candidate will be you no know, like uh, asked to you no know, like go back and if at all they are selected a mail will be you no know, like uh, uh, sent to the interview interviewee and uh, after receiving the mail they have to you no know, like come again to the uh, organization and meet the i mean uh, and and again you no know, appear for the final interview so completely you no know, tell all these process you no know, like when is when you no know, like after this you no know, what is going to happen next how uh, what is the process everything about the interview process you dominate the discussion and fail to listen uh, mostly the interviewer no will be you know like speaking more and more about the roles responsibilities about the company when it was started 
and uh, like um, when he has no like she has no like uh, come into the organization uh, he saw her own uh, her own experience and know like how things work here speaking more about the organization and about the roles and then everything and uh, failing to check whether uh, what is the expectation of the employee that is also uh, no like um, wrong uh, thing no like wrong expectation you use a language the candidate doesn't understand that is not purposely using a no like a false accent or no like unwantedly no like using an accent which the uh, candidate doesn't understand or no like using a heavy english words no during the time of interview to show off so this is not required no like uh, the other person has to understand what uh, this person is no speaking so only that is required so we don't have to know like the interviewer doesn't have to use no like too much no difficult or no like uh, uh, jargon words no to attract to, to show off no like um, uh, he is or she is no like well educated or more educated or, or highly linguistic you rush the process and miss the human aspect so uh, maybe you no know, like since you are no like uh, you guys or no like maybe you are your freshers or you would have no attended two to three interviews so you may be you know like one or two or few may be knowing you no know, like um, a few interviewers they will rush the process they will not give enough time for the interviewee to you know like uh, voice out their views or voice out their you no know, like uh, concerns so what do they expect in the company what they want to you know like uh, know about the company so how much they wanted to know about the salary part their uh, responsibility part and the working hours when will be the holidays so for these and things you no know, like the interviewer will not give enough time for the interview so this is also a wrong part so these are the mistakes usually interviewers and interviewees you no know, like they commit so this is a technique for attending interview research the industry and company so do a proper research about the organization about the departments number of employees when the company was started what is the produce of the company so and and everything prepare for common interview questions like mostly tell me about yourself strengths and weakness and everything score a success in the first 5 minutes because once you enter the uh, the you know like the room that is the uh, the place within first 2 uh, or 3 minutes you no know, like the interviewer will have an opinion about you opinion about the candidate so so in the first 5 minutes you no know, the maximum 5 minutes is a crucial time to you know like uh, create a great you no know, positive impact you known like in the interviewer's mind so we are the right outfit speak the right body language clarify your selling points and reasons you want the job selling points are you no know, like uh, committed uh, attractive points you no know, like committed uh, disciplined self motivated and no team player so these are no like selling points uh, these attracts the interviewers it attracts the companies these these points these aspects no anticipate the interviewers concerns and reservations sit on the same side as the interviewer understand what the interviewer is no like expecting is speaking about then accordingly no you can give the answer line up your questions for the interviewer because interviewer at the end may ask Uh, in most of the cases they will ask like no uh, okay do you have any questions so be ready with the questions and be ready to handle illegal and inappropriate questions uh, i still remember no like when I, when i was working in chennai um so there was an interview happening happening in our organization and uh, our uh, manager um, yeah hr manager uh, no like he was conducting interview uh, and uh, the uh, one question he was asking the candidate you no know, like about uh, two personal question you no know, like uh, which is not necessary for the organization so that was completely an inappropriate question uh, you no know, like so the candidate you no know, like he was very much you no know, like uh, uh, angry uh, angry uh, uh, more than angry he was you no know, very much irritated and you no know, like uh, uh, started shouting you no know, in the uh hr no like cabin no like we could hear his voice no and um again the hr was no like again shouting back and there was no it was a complete mess that was a complete scene no like happening 
So then we have you no know, happen to her you no know, the the question the inappropriate question you no know, asked by the uh, HR uh, manager. So he in order to you know like uh, conduct a stress interview, uh, he has you no know, like uh, made up a question you no know, to ask the interviewee. But to uh, conduct a stress interview, of course you no know, like there are some rules and regulations. There are some questions we should be you no know, like. Uh, the candidates uh, no to ask the candidates appropriate questions not to ask the candidates illegal questions are no like very inappropriate questions no it shouldn't be asked and be assertive and no like take responsibility for the interview in case no like if at all uh, you are facing that situation no like you can uh, we can very well tell that no like i don't think no this question is necessary for the position i'm going to know like apply simple very simple words be assertive and take responsibility for the interview. Close on a positive note. So finally, once you leave the cabin, just say, you know, like, bye and thank you and bye. And, you know, like, uh, and reminder notes. Uh, after, you know, if you're not receiving any information from the uh, company side, uh, you know, like, even after, you know, like, uh, one week or so, directly, you know, like, mail the company, you know, send an email to the head department or, you know, directly to the company. So I have attended interview. My name is this, this is the, I attended interview on this particular date and uh, please let me know like what has happened. So then practice, think positive and don't give up. So these are the techniques, no, any candidate can follow, no, to uh, achieve success in the interview. And other than this, good subject knowledge and no, like good communication skill is also no, like necessary. Okay. Coming to recruitment and selection. So recruitment is you no know, something where a group of people is called for interview, called for interview. You no, know, like the company is you no know, like um, advertising that uh, you no know, there is a vacancy or there is you no know, like this number of vacancies in their organization, and these are the basic qualifications and uh, needed and uh, work experience needed or not. Everything you no know, like and the calls for uh, you no know, like. Um, uh, encourages the uh, the you no know, like the people to apply for that position. So that is recruitment, and you no know, finally they are you no know, like uh, asking those persons you no know, like candidates you no know, who have applied to come for the interview, attend the interview. Selection is something out of those candidates. Uh, uh, the best candidates are being shortlisted and finally selected, and you no know, like. Um, taken into the organization so that is the difference between recruitment and selection recruitment group of people called for interview selection from those good group of people based on many aspects few uh, uh, candidates or no like shortlisted and directly taken into the system so these no like recruitment always no like it encourages a larger number of candidates whereas selection is no like uh, Though few of them were getting selected, no, like there is no, there is a chance, no, like many of them will be, you know, getting rejected as well. That's why, you know, like uh, recruitment is a positive approach and, you no, know, like selection is a negative aspect, no negative approach. So this is a recruitment process, preparing. Preparing is preparing, getting prepared for the interview by the HR department, not by the candidate, by the HR department. Sourcing, sourcing the candidates and you no know, like uh, trying to attract the candidates you no know, to apply for the position. Screening, you no know, like uh, making, I mean, um, conducting the interview process. Selecting, selecting you no know, the shortlisted candidates. And finally, hiring. Hiring is you no know, like letting them into the payroll and onboarding. So nowadays, you no know, like companies have another name for onboarding, hitting the floor onboarding hitting the floor that means directly the employee is in the organization so this is the uh, life cycle of recruiting that is the process so sources of recruitment internal as well as external uh, internal sources we have already like uh, we have you no know, seen um, in our previous sessions transfer and promotion job posting employee referrals former employees calling back the former employees who have you no know, like got a vrs or retired or no left, left the organization for some reason and previous applicants you no know, those applicants would have you no know, like applied for uh, the company you no know, like long back or you no know, like six months back one year back that time they may not get selected they may not be you no know, like selected but uh, if there is an any need you no know, those candidates can be you no know, like taken into the system 
external sources is direct method indirect method and third party methods direct method is the company directly sourcing the candidates without any help of any external agency so directly they are calling the candidates for the interview indirect method is you no know, like advertising you no know, through social media newspapers websites you no know, job portals and tvs and you no know, televisions magazines you no know, like they are you no know, like uh, advertising that you no know, that there is a company and you no know, the, their company has you no know, like vacancy there is a position vacant or a number of positions vacant and third party methods third party method is you no know, like uh, employee referrals the existing employee can no refer the persons they know they know recommend no few persons they know and uh, trade unions we can they can check with organization can check with trade unions whether they know any employees know who is fit for the role data banks no like a uh, few uh, agencies would be having no data banks can know with them with all the information regarding an employee qualification experience and everything and the labor contractors are there and professional associations and bodies are there management consultants and consultants are there no who provide candidates for the uh, organization so these are third party methods employee referrals so in third party methods we have no like employee referrals uh, that is large uh, that employee can no refer anyone no any person no known to him or her sometimes no in organizations for uh, referring a Uh, a particular i mean referring the a suitable candidate no like the person who is referring they may get no like incentive or bonus kind of a thing social media promotion using no like facebook linkedin uh, times job whatever no the job websites events events is no like uh, conducting uh, the no like the i mean the fair or you know like employment fair employment fair or no like uh, setting up of you no know, like kiosks in you no know, like very busy area and you no know, like uh, um uh, giving out the you no know, like job application you no know, asking the candidates you no know, whoever is ready uh, i mean interested they can fill up the job application and they can you no know, like uh, submit it in the kiosk itself and uh, these applications will be you no know, uh, sent to the uh, management team and then internships so few uh, technical institutes and colleges you no know, once um, student completes the uh, education or uh, in the final year of the education they send their students for internships to learn the, um, the to learn the job to learn what is happening in the industry so if at all no like uh, uh, the student any one student or a group of student is no really performing well or no like uh, very much no like they feel the, uh, the company feels like no they very much are suitable for the job so from those interns they can you no know, directly take the candidates usually most of the uh, you know like um, selection uh, process you no know, happens in you no know, like uh, warehouse industry logistic industry actually so mostly students once after completing the technical education in logistics and supply chain management they go for internship and uh, you no know, like uh, so when they are in their internship you no know, like most of the companies you no know, like logistic companies so they pick up the right kind of you no know, like candidate and they they want they want to you know like retain them in the organization graduate recruiting that is campus interview conducting campus interview like uh, uh, making affiliations with you no know, universities and colleges or other technical in, uh, institutes so conducting campus interview goes going directly to the campus conducting interview and you no know, like giving the selection letter you no know, like then and there to the candidate rightful candidates word of mouth just by word of mouth no spreading the news no there is a vacant available whoever is interested can no apply and recruitment consultants and job portals so external recruitment agencies and you no know, like management consultants passive candidate research so this is something no unique passive candidate research so candidates may be already may be you no know, working in other company they already may have you no know, like uh, worked and retired or uh, they may be, they they would have been you no know, like uh, uh, they may be you no know, like engaged in you no know, like uh, other organizations but with the help of you no know, any uh, contractors or you no know, labor unions or trade unions um, they can you know the company can ask negotiate with the candidate you no know, like uh, they will provide better salary than the uh, company where they are working for or provide a better living standards you no know, than uh, whatever the company is providing them so they, they directly negotiate with the 
the worker, the employee, convincing them to join the company. So this is uh, sometimes you no know, like it may be seen illegal, but uh, this is also a way of you no know, like uh, selecting recruiting a person. So importance of recruitment that is you no know, like uh, the time involved in searching, interviewing, hiring, and training. A good recruitment process. So if at all being planned appropriately, you no know, planned in advance. So time can be, you know, like consumed. So not much time, you no, know, will be wasted. Good qualified, reliable employees are hired in good recruitment process. So be very specific about, you no, know, like uh, the experience the person should possess, the skill set the person should possess, whether there is a need for communication skills for this job or not. So everything, you no, know, be very specific. Should come from the HR department. Be very specific. And then, you no, know, like uh, when the interview is conducted, it's easy for them to you know, like recruit the right kind of person. The candidate is hired only after meeting all the legal obligations of the company process. So document verification part, you no, know, like um, so only after that the candidate will be you no know, taken into the organization. So for technical, uh, you know, like positions, you no, know, like um, the certifications are very much important. Because uh, just with you no know, like few uh, candidates may uh, apply for the job just because with you no know, like just just because they have an experience in the same industry, but uh, in few organizations certifications is you no know, like plays a, a vital role. They need the candidate certification because if something you no know, like happens you no know, like uh, in the organization unexpected even you no know, happens in the organization, uh, there may be you know like. Uh, uh, checking process you no know, whether the company has you no know, like recruited the right kind of persons you no know, like who are you no know, actually you no know, certified by any uh, government bodies or uh, the person has undergone any uh, training uh, from any you no know, like reputed institute so that is more important and this is the process selection process preliminary interview that is the first level of interview first round of interview receiving applications so before applications, how can a preliminary interview happen? So either the candidate can call up the, you know, like uh, the HR people, or no, directly call up the main board line of the company and uh, check, you know, whether the interview, whether there is a vacancy, and uh, the person, whoever is you no know, attending, uh, who is responsible, uh, they may ask whether the candidate has you no know, like required qualification. The candidate is saying yes, then they, uh, then he or she is you no know, like encouraged to apply apply directly to the organization and then screening of applications going through all the applications employment test out of the you no know, like um, after going through the applications you no know, like candidates are you no know, like shortlisted and the test or you no know, interview is you no know, like taken and uh, reference checking that is documentation checking if at all required medical examination is done and final selection is done so this is the recruitment and selection process first Analyze the need. If there is any need in the company, go for the no, like the interview. Otherwise, if there is no need for no like any person. If there is no job vacant in the company, so halt with the interview process. Halt with the selection process. Because uh, if at all there is no new vacancy, conducting interview, selecting the applicants, no, it's of no use. And then job analysis. So what kind of candidate is required for that particular job performing that particular job that has to be analyzed and attracting the candidates you no know, like either you no know, directly or through indirect methods you have to you know attract the right kind of candidates screening applications once the, uh, the department has received all the applications they have to you know like screen all the applications and finally interview calling the candidates for interview uh, asking them to come on you no know, one particular date or you no know, one particular time and whether it's going to be an one on one interview direct or no like online interview or no like whatever it is selecting and appointing candidates so out of that no like group of people group of candidates shortlisted uh, candidates are being you no know, selected and induction and training is done sometimes training on the job training may be given we will be you no know, seeing about the different kinds of training methods you no know, like in our next session so we have no like simulation training on the job training of the job training many kinds of training so induction process induction process is letting the candidate know like uh, what is uh, what will be the salary what will be the working hours so how many leaves you no know, like uh, on an yearly basis 
what are all the other, other benefits the candidate can know like uh, uh, enjoy you know like uh, in his tenure or in her tenure in the company and uh, reporting person and everything that is known that happens in induction so signing off all the you know like whether it's a contract or uh, any documentation part signing for the esi document graduate everything that happens in the induction process and before sometimes you no know, like uh, before uh, hitting the floor that is before you no know, like getting into the uh, the direct uh, you no know, like uh, work sometimes training is given or the uh, candidate may be asked to you know like work for a probation period for you no know, 1 month or 3 months or 6 months whatever and then finally the candidate is you no know, like taken to the system and then after taken into the system evaluation is done once in 6 months or 1 year performance appraisal is done and uh, you no know, like again the process continues again there will be a vacancy again the process continues if at all the in the the, uh, the department uh, uh prefers that the candidate even after selection even after working in the organization for you no know, like uh, six months or one year or two years you no know, like the candidates need a training um, you no know, like um, training you no know, on some particular aspect uh, new technology or you no know, like uh, new skill or new task the company would be in, i'm sorry the department would be recommending uh, this to the top management and on the you no know, like uh, delegation of top management uh, training would be conducted so this is the overall process of recruitment and selection so yes doubts any doubts yes <laughs> 